Hey guys, it's Mia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going over the September box from Palletful Packs, so let's get started. The first item is the Holbein Acrylic Gouache Set. This set comes with five colors. Carmine, Lemon Yellow, Sky Blue, Jet Black, and Titanium White. Acrylic gouache looks just like gouache paint, but it's water resistant and you can apply multiple layers just like acrylic paint. Next we have the Prismacolor Kneaded Rubber Eraser. This eraser is excellent for cleaning surfaces and adding highlights to chalks, charcoals, and pastels. Here we have the Legion Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Pad. This watercolor paper is great for experimentation and small works of art. For our brushes, we have the Robert Simmons Angle Shader and a Princeton Select Flat Wash Brush. I have a Derwent Graphic Pencil with B Lead, a Six Well Paint Tray from Art Alternatives, and for our surface, we have the Crescent watercolor board. This 8x10 board is cold pressed and extremely sturdy, so you don't have to worry about warping. This board accepts watercolor, gouache, watercolor pencil, and ink. And uh, that's it. No bonus item and no sticker. Hmm. I'm going to start with the eraser, pencil, and paper. These miniature pads, they're good for swatches or scrap paper, and that's what I'm going to end up using this one for. The pencil is a B-lit pencil, which means the lit will be softer and blend more compared to an H-lit, which is harder. When I used to draw exclusively with graphite, I always used B-pencils because of how soft a lid is, but... I don't use them when I work with watercolor or acrylics because I don't want the lid to get mixed in with the paint. But I haven't used a tight B pencil in a long time. This eraser does exactly what it's supposed to do. It erases and you can also knead it into a little ball. So let's move on to the Holbein acrylic gouache. You have the primary colors plus black and white, so you can mix up your secondary colors as well as create shades and tints with the black and white paint. And these paints are very pigmented and they also dry quickly. The tubes are small, like 12 mLs, and for that reason I am not going to use the watercolor board. The watercolor board is great, I like how sturdy it is, but because the tubes of paint are so small, I don't want to use up all of the paint on just one surface. So I will be using my Canson Mixed Media Sketchbook. It's five and a half by eight and a half inches. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I use Turner's acrylic gouache. And what I discovered is that acrylic gouache isn't really popping yet. So you get these small tubes and they're very expensive and they dry fast which is why I'm not using the little palette tray. Even though the word gouache is in the name, this is an acrylic paint at the end of the day. And like I said, it dries quickly, it's permanent, and it's water resistant. So if I use this little tray that came in this month's box, the acrylic gouache is just going to dry up quickly and then I'll have to scrub and peel out the dried paint. And I don't have time for that, so I'm just going to use my old Stay Wet palette, which will keep the paints moist longer. So, I'm doing one of the prompts. Dinner! I used a green coal erase colored pencil to sketch out everything. It'll be covered up nicely with the acrylic gouache. I was really excited to get this box when I found out that the medium would be Holbein acrylic gouache. I've been wanting to try this out for a while. So far, I, th I think it's decent, but I still prefer my Turner's acrylic wash, mainly because the Turner's is just as good as the Holbein's, but just not as expensive. So this Holbein set, and there's five tubes in here and 12 mLs, uh, it retails for $21.25. On Amazon, the Turner's 12th set of acrylic wash is $22.99. The tubes are 11 mLs, 
less than the Holbeins, but in my opinion, I still think they're a better deal. Other than that, I actually like this month's box. About a month ago, I received one 20 ml tube of Holbein acrylic gouache from Sketchbox. So it was actually great this time to get an actual set from Palletful Packs. But before I go, I just want to mention that I did choose a winner for my 500 subscriber giveaway. And I did that on Sunday, I believe. However, I have not heard from the winner yet, so if I don't hear from them by the end of tomorrow, I'm going to pick another winner. So if you're the winner of the giveaway, you must send me a DM through Instagram. I will send you a verification code and you will have to go back to your original comment under the giveaway video, edit your post and put the verification code there. I need to make sure the winner is who they are. So in the event that I have to choose another winner, as well as for future giveaways, I need communication within three days or I'll just have to pick another winner. And yeah, so that's it. But thanks for stopping by, you guys. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. I'll see you soon. Bye.